Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And I know I've already made a video like this before, but um I haven't been able to do very good on it in the dimensions because uh I've been playing a lot of Arsenal with my friends and it's been very fun. So I've just been trying to do that. So I haven't been able to play in the dimensions as much. Which means I haven't been able to get very good for you guys. One of the only reasons I still play and get good is to entertain you guys. But the other reason is Anyway Dimensions is just such a good game. But, you know, it got boring after a while. And <coughs> sadly, there I have friends that play with me on other games like Arsenal. And it's been really fun to play with them. And uh, we laugh and have a good time literally all day. Yesterday I was on a call for like 7 hours, 7 or 8 hours with them. It was very fun. Literally as, fi as soon as I finish all my schoolwork, I get on and play with them. Until I go to bed. So, I that doesn't really leave much room for Anime Dimensions. I usually just play a little bit of Anime Dimensions in the morning. And that's what I do. So, yeah, I I want to start playing Anime Dimensions again, but I also want to keep playing Arsenal so I can have fun, because Anime Dimensions gets kind of boring, and I don't really have much time to play Anime Dimensions, because when I'm not playing Anime Dimensions, I'll, I'll usually play it right before I do schoolwork, that's also when I'll record my Anime Dimensions videos. And uh, as soon as I'm finished, after like three or four hours, I go and play Arsenal. And <coughs> none of us have to get off at certain times. So they're just not like, okay, they left. Now it's time. I guess there's time for me to play in other dimensions now. It's not like that. It's just we're all on 24 7 playing anime dimensions so all I get to do on anime dimensions is boss rush and AFKing um I'm actually gonna do a boss rush and buy a mythic card probably in this video to see what I get um but yeah I'm gonna keep playing anime dimensions but I'm just not gonna play it as much so I'm gonna be a very low level this is already extremely low level but I I want to be like level 130 and everything. I want good stats. But you can't do that when you play other games. Now, I used to be one of the best players in Anime Dimensions. Had some of the highest damage in the game. Probably with the top 10 to top 20 players. I was 17th on the leaderboard at one point. The level leaderboard. I was like 50th place on Time Challenge leaderboard around at around the same time. I almost got in the days play leaderboard. I just back in villain dimension. I quit for a while, but um, yeah, I would be on the days play leaderboard. I'm never gonna get on the raids leaderboard because they have 776, and I'm still sitting here with a measly, hold on, 191 raids. So I I might get 250 in a little bit. But, um, it's gonna take a while, gonna take over 50 hours of trying to do raids. But, um, I, I'm i good with boss rushes. I can do loads of boss rushes. I'm fine with doing boss rushes. I, c I can do them for like two hours straight. That would make me happy because it gives such good rewards. Even better than raid rewards. But raid's just a lot more boring than boss rush because it's literally the same thing over and over again. And, uh, yeah. So I'm gonna try and get Kurumi Pet as my first thing. Actually, no. First thing, I'm gonna get better stats. Then I'm gonna try and get Kurumi Pet. All of this very slowly. I would be able to do that in like one or two weeks. The Kurumi Pet would take a while, but I'd be able to get good stats very quickly if I still played the game. But I don't know when they're gonna update. <coughs> I don't know if their next update's gonna be a dimension or a new difficulty or something uh... because if it is then i'll have to start saving up boss rush tickets or tokens whatever whatever you want to save up um... but yeah let me go ahead and do a couple boss rushes real quick 
I'll talk while doing boss rushes. Yeah, I just want to keep playing Anime Dimensions, but it's kind of hard to do when you play other games. That's what I'm trying to say pretty much is I can't play the game as much because Arsenal has just been more fun for me because I'm not extremely good at Arsenal, but I'm, I would consider myself a pro at Arsenal, but the thing is, um, all, most of my friends are better than me at it still, so I'm trying to catch up to them. But that game is actually based on skill. Anime Dimensions is based on how much time you spend on the game. Which is the thing I don't like about Anime Dimensions. It requires no skill at all. As long as you play the game. Now of course it requires dodging. If you want to learn how to dodge. Then uh, just go look at my last video on how to dodge. But uh, I might include it at the end of the video. Probably will. Because uh... If you want, that's the only thing that requires skill in this game. Everything else is luck based or knowledge based on how much game sense you have. But, uh, I got a minute run. That's kind of trash. But, um, yeah. If you, it also is based on luck because if you get extremely lucky, you can get very good stats easily. So, let's say you're extremely lucky with Boss Rush, you can drop like Kokushibo pretty easily, maybe within 50 of them which is about how much you'll need to buy Kokushibo and you could also just um, drop loads of mythic cards and accessories to get very good stats that's another luck based thing in this game you can also do the same with raid because raid drops mythic cards now uh... if anything i think they should add it to where dimensions can drop mythic cards because dimensions yeah it's pretty epic uh, because you'll get XP plus mythic cards plus legendary cards plus accessories so dimensions would be practically the best thing but you know if they do that dimensions will be kinda OP for like the level 140s because they already do so many dimensions that they'll just be able to get such good stats on mythic cards they might even be able to get an 8% crit chance card that's how good that would be you know, games like to add OP stuff, like OP and more OP, like Anime Fighters. They added the shiny machine. That was so overpowered. And they're still adding more things that make our units more overpowered. But Anime Dimensions, they're not, they're just adding more of the stuff that is already good. Like, why do that? Because, you know, why make a mythic card and I don't know but they're just like adding more good things not no they're adding more of the good things they're not like adding any other things that can also also help improve us not still be the same thing it just gives you a higher chance of getting it I would like it I would like them to add stuff like something new like a secret card a secret type of accessory because we're now moving on to where everything is pretty much mythical and now everyone's got mythical stuff and mythic stuff is supposed to be the best stuff so they need to add like a secret stuff a god thing like some different type of rarity maybe even like a divine rarity something like that I don't know distorted rarity that'd be cool or something like that that can help players get better but only the better players like you can't be a noob and just like drop that stuff maybe like fuse five mythic cards into a shiny mythic card that would be pretty epic or you could fuse uh, cards into other cards to make the cards level up instead of using gold that'd be pretty cool to see but uh, yeah I hope Anime Dimensions will take some of those ideas uh, because that'd be pretty cool to see but let's go ahead and buy see I have 158 robux that means I'll be able to buy enough for a boss rush but I don't know 
I'd still have to drop 77 stuff, which is extremely rare for boss rush. So I'll probably just wait until tonight. Uh, one of the other things I play anime dimensions on is on stream a lot because a lot of you guys like to come in and join me on stream. I might do some fate runs on stream today since um, I don't have much schoolwork to do. So, yeah. I could do Fate Dimension with you guys on stream, do some boss rushes, do some raids. That'd be pretty epic. But, um, yeah, that'd be pretty epic. But, uh, yeah. Make sure to stop by if I do that, because that'd be pretty cool. See, this is just another type of card from Boss Rush. So, look, you got you got all this. So, this doesn't have crit chance. What? Okay, let me get my Kokushibo on. You got uh this stuff. You got a Mythic card. Yeah, you can drop those from Boss Rush. Then they add them to raid, which makes it even easier to get. So that just made it easier to get Mythic cards, but the people that had perfect mythic cards that didn't improve them at all so they're still stuck at the same level so that means if they can't get better it makes the game less fun which results in a player quitting which results in less robux which results if m more people the more people that quit the more people that will wanna quit like if a pro quits then maybe two or three noobs will quit and two or three noobs will quit maybe two or three other noobs will quit and if those noobs' friends quit then they might quit too so that'd be pretty sad to see um anime dimensions need to add something new because all they're adding is more things to one thing they're adding more raids which is great but they're adding them every update they're adding new dimensions which is great but they're adding them every couple months. They're adding new codes, which is great. But they're not too OP. They are good, but it's not too OP. They add a character to Boss Rush. One time. They add stat bonuses three times in a period of almost a year. St when stat bonuses were introduced, I'm pretty sure like 10,000 was the max maybe 25,000 I think it might have been 25,000 which means people could get some pretty good stats it was pretty good it was probably like probably 10,000 now I think about it 10,500 maybe 15,000 yeah it's probably 15,000 because that's an exact number but uh yeah then they then they added like 50,000 and then they had a hundred thousand. That's a period of almost a year. They had this though. This was pretty epic. This little menu. So all I'm asking is for Anime Dimensions to add something, and please give me my own code, please. Anime Dimensions. That'd be epic. That'd be pretty epic. And add like a secret type of um cards, like a secret card, a godly card, a divine card, a distorted card. Whatever you want to add, just please add a new variety of cards. Because Mythical is way too easy to obtain with pretty good stats. You can get decent stats within a week, but to get good stats it'll take maybe two updates, depending on how much you play the game. For me it takes me about two weeks for good stats, pro stats. Uh, but yeah, crit damage is very low right now, because uh, I'm using Maneuver Gear. In my opinion, Maneuver Gear is better because uh, you'll be able to melt bosses. It's better for Dimensions. It's always been better for Raid and Boss Rush. But, um, yeah. I go faster with it. They also had a new Game Pass, which was pretty cool, but it's not worth it at all. It's worth like 500 Robux. No one needs Legendaries and Red Dimensions. Only the noobs need it, and once they have that, they'll be able to get mythic cards extremely easy so it's only going to be useful for a while it can give extra gold but that's about it it can drop the accessory but if you do boss rush you have the tree and you can also drop the raid accessories yeah but anyways that's it for today's video 
and I'll see you guys next video. Yeah. Goodbye.